Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic and OK Kyo for next one twenty one here again. Here to bring you more of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension Four Six Hundred Running Windows XP Home Edition, two thousand twenty one edition. Yep. So, yep, two thousand twenty one edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension Four Six Hundred Running Windows XP Home Edition. Yep. We're gonna do part eleven. So yeah, in the last part we went onto Mom's account to play some Super Collapse Free. And of course, yep, I had a lot of fun playing it. Hope you guys enjoyed me doing that, so. Logging into my account. Your computer is logging in. Anyway, I do not have the sponsors with me, but I'm going to get them in a moment, so. But anyway, I just want to say that about the, that about the computer, you know, like, I tried my best to, like, to try to get the, the E drive, which is the DVD-ROM drive for this computer. I tried to get it to show, like, I'm trying my very best to do it. I... I did it after I was done recording the previous part, which was part 10. And yes, I know that this is like part number 11 now. Now that we're finally on the part number 11. I don't have the sponsors with me, but I'm, I'm going to get them right now. I'll be right back after I get them. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to get the, the following sponsors for this part of the walkthrough. And of course, part 11 of this 2021 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600. Running Windows XP Home Edition was sponsored by these two Backyardigans DVDs. It's great to be a ghost and the snow fort. So I'm going to try to get the My Computer application up to see if the DVD-ROM drive shows this time because I don't know if it'll show because I tried my best. It only showed the lower filter, so I don't know what to do about it. Let's just see what happens. It probably won't show. I mean, this computer is pretty old, but it's pretty nostalgic too, since I actually still use it today. And the computer still works, but I'm not really sure about the DVD-ROM drive. I think I probably might need to, like, probably get, like, like maybe an actual DVD-ROM drive to connect to this computer, maybe. That way I could try to test any CD-ROM I want to, and then maybe it'll probably let me play any CD-ROM I want. But I'm not sure if I'll do that now, because... I mean, one, I don't have any CD-ROM drives that you can connect to the computer to use. And two, I'm just not sure if I can actually, like, try to find one on Amazon or eBay. I mean, if I actually, if I can find one, then if it comes to my house, I'll connect it and maybe try to put in Tonka Workshop to see if it'll probably let me play it. But I don't know yet. But for now, let's just try to wait and see... What's going to go on with this computer? Let's see if it connects very soon. It's going to take a long time. i got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back after I come back from the bathroom. Okay, guys, I'm back from the bathroom. And unfortunately, what it looks like is the freaking DVD-ROM drive just didn't show. Dang it. Well, I'm probably going to need to get, like, maybe, like, a connective DVD-ROM drive one day. Just so that way I could try to, if I could get a DVD-ROM drive to connect to the computer, maybe I could probably put Tonk Workshop in that drive that I connected to. That's what I'm pretty much hoping, so... Hopefully I could do that somehow. So yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't really know if I can like try to put any CD-ROMs in this drive. But anyway, I've not got that much time to waste. We gotta go into a program. I 
I think what I'm going to do today, what should I do? Let's go take a look at Windows Movie Maker. We're going to go in there today. We're going to try to make a movie. Sorry guys that the computer is being slow. I mean, I know that this computer is like 17 years old and all. I mean, it's very old. I think my mom and dad probably gotten this in like, I don't know, March or April, I think. I don't really know. But then again, this computer is like 17 years old. And it was manufactured in February of 2004. So, I don't know what to do about it. I don't really know if I can actually like try to get this like to work. I mean, the computer works, and it it can actually go normal after some slow process of loading. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably... I'm going to put in some pictures. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna put in some video transitions too. How about we go with flip? Shatter right. And last but not least, a page curl. Now we gotta start from the beginning, so let's just take this all the way to the beginning by clicking this button. And let's start. Use this new category wizard to define a new income or expense category. You can also create a new subcategory for an existing category. You can then use your new category or subcategory when entering transactions and budgeting. And that's that. So I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. This thing can actually let you probably set the audio levels but I'm not going to do that. They can actually let you show the storyboard. Use this new category wizard to def You know, I'm probably going to need to have it with the storyboard anyway. So, let's just let's just play this one more time throughout the whole thing and see how we do it with the storyboard being shown. Use this new category wizard to define a new income or expense category. You can also create a new subcategory for an existing category. You can then use your new category or subcategory when entering transactions and budgeting. I'm not going to save it, so yeah. Also, if you guys didn't know, that audio that I put in was actually from the Microsoft Money application that was on this computer, Microsoft Money 2004. So yeah, I hope you guys understand that. So yeah, I think what we're going to do now, I think we'll do one more thing before we actually stop this part off. I don't know why there's like, it says copy 104 of ro remote assistance. Didn't the original copy get deleted or something? I certainly hope not. But anyway, I mean, I've been using this computer like ever since when I was a little child. I mean... We had this computer ever since I was two. And we had this, like... About the history of using this computer. We started using this up until, like, the end of 2008. When we got the Windows Vista computer. Which was on HP Pavilion. And then... In summer 2012, wait, maybe... Maybe April or May of 2012. Actually, maybe even summer 2012. We actually got this computer back into the family room. And, of course, we used it for, like, I think six or seven more years. And then, 
actually most likely probably six more no not not six more years sorry actually six more months and then when Christmas came in when dad and mom got that new printer they had to put the computer back into the basement for some reason and I stopped using it up until like 2018 like probably like the end of April 2018 and then I got back to using it again so yeah this is how I'm now this is how I am as of now I'm still using this computer nowadays and now it actually still works and I'm glad it actually works a lot so because if I never had a chance to eventually like find a way to actually get this computer back into being plugged in if I never had the chance of doing that then I never would have used this computer ever again like if this never ever happened in the in the end of April 2018 I never would have used this computer ever again but I'm glad I'm using this again since it's actually still working and I actually am very happy about that so I think what I'm going to do now what are we going to do what to do what to do I think we'll take a look at screensavers to pass the time I love how Pablo Tyrone and Unique will look in their outfits from that Castaways episode of the Backyard again. I'm glad I have this as a desktop background because it's very cute. Anyway, let's go to screensavers. We could take a look at all the screensavers. Start off with 3D Flower Box. Look at this. I think I remembered. Back when I was younger, when someone used to have Windows XP in the pharmacy, I think they used to have this 3D flower box screensaver. Man, was it cool. I remember when I was like a few years old, like, how old was I? I think probably like two or three years old, I believe. When I first saw this screensaver, really takes me back a lot of good memories. Next up. 3D flying objects. It's got the flying windows logo right there. It's waving its flag. Windows XP. Take a look at the settings. There's some choices. Take a look at explode. Is that a red ball? Looks like a red ball. The red ball is going into pieces. I never showed this in the walkthrough, but I'm going to go through some of them. Pretty much all of them. Ribbon. Cool ribbon. Next... Cool ribbons, green and blue. Splash or sploosh water. Water splooshing or splashing and splishing, splashing. Cool. Twist. Like, do the twist with Chubby Checker. It looks like a swirly, swirly thingy. Textured flag. It's time to say the Pledge of Allegiance to Windows XP. Make sure you experience it. Now we're going to change this back to the Windows logo because... This is how I wanted originally. Take a look at 3D pipes. Cool. Amazing. Three D text. And I typed this in. Windows XP rules, which yes, it does rule. It's my favorite operating system of the Windows series from Bill Gates. Microsoft. 
Gonna go with Bez ears or Bees ears, however you say it. This is a cool screensaver. I think it's really, really cool. Blank screen. Now these are the Jask Paint Shop photo albums. Gotta make this quick. Gotta turn the volume down a little bit. Because I'm waiting for the audio part to show up. I'm scared. pretty loud but anyway Mark Quee I'm gonna have to change that give me a moment please let me change that to a one better so much better My picture slideshow. Mystify. Forgot if I, I got out of the screensaver. I'm sorry. There we go. Now I got it shown. Starfield. Now this one is like, this is like flying through space for Windows 98. It's like you're going into space. I think when I, when I was in CTE, when I, I think when I was in like kindergarten or first grade, I believe. I remember I used to see this, you know, this screensaver when I was in CTE. I remembered someone used to have Windows XP and they had like, they had this, they used a screensaver and I think it was pretty cool. I did not know that this was one of the screensavers, but you know, it's peaceful. It's really peaceful. And last but not least, the Windows XP original screensaver that says Windows XP Home Edition. This one's a nostalgic screensaver. I mean, when I was little, I used to think that this computer had Windows XP Professional, but I guess not. I was actually wrong about this. Since the sticker on the computer said Windows XP Home Edition, like, you know, when I was like a few years old, I used to think this computer was Windows XP Professional on it, but it's not. It's Windows XP Home Edition. Why did I get confused? But still, this computer is like childhood to me. Anyway, that's enough for today. We're gonna have to, we're gonna go bye bye. Gotta turn off the computer. That's it for part 11 of the 2021 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. I will see you all next time for part number 12. See you guys next time. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic and OKKO Fanatic 2021 signing off. Peace out. See you guys next time. Your computer is shutting down.